kind of knowing who their people are personnel wise, TV copy is pretty beneficial. If, if you were watching this week's game as a fan, just how enjoyable, I guess, would you find the contrast in styles between your team and Kansas State? I don't think there's a whole lot of difference, honestly. I mean, there's everybody wants to compare the whole, you know, they, the new school, old school way of this game. Kansas State and West Virginia. I, I, there's a lot of similarities. I see. They've been they've been on the forefront of a lot of scheme things, offensively, defensively, especially special special teams wise. I've I've copied a lot of their stuff. You know now, the one drastic difference from what you're seeing is is quarterback run game versus more passing. But their pass plays are. are clearly up to date and they do a great job with it. If you look back at us two years ago, we were really, really, really similar with what we did offensively and what they do. Um, you know, there's there's some similarities now with what they're doing defensively and what we're doing defensively. There's some crossover as well. So you know, I'd like to think that, you know, we, we play with great effort and we're coached up pretty good and you know we, we got some toughness to us. We got a lot of program pride around here, so you know, there's a lot of the non-coaching aspects of, of, of what I've tried to do with this program based on what he's done with this program for, for decades and decades. Did along those lines, is, is one similarity the fact that you can desire to be one thing, but you plug in different players and do something totally different. Because I think about Klein, it's very different. Yeah, I mean, you know, good coaches adapt to what their personnel is, um, you, you know, and, and, and I, I've seen them adapt to what their personnel is. You know, I've, I've, you've seen us adapt to what our personnel is. The quarterback's an easy one to point to, but what, how you are up front, and what kind of receivers you have, what your D-line is like, what your corners are like, uh, being able to adapt and, and adjust uh, how, how you coach any side of the ball. Uh, based on what your personnel is and where your strengths and weaknesses are, the number one thing is a, is a coach. He, he, he may have invented it. I think that can be. How do you map Lake 12 with Mississippi State? Angle run the ball and been so successful. Yeah, they're good. Mississippi State's a good football team. You know, I heard they were a good football team. This is the first time that we've had a crossover game in a long time. I can't remember the last time. Uh, but. Uh, you know, so we, we studied that one. That, that their Mississippi State's personnel is pretty good. You know, they got they got some they got dudes up front that can block you. They got a couple of backs that were hitting the hole. You know, that quarterback keeps you honest in, in, in the run game. Um, they're they're a pretty physical outfit. So um, you know, just just the, the you know, they just they 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 schemed they schemed them up and they they blocked well and they played well. Mississippi State matched them on, on special teams, and uh, defensively they got they got guys that can run around. The D line is extremely big and extremely physical. That looked like a good team to me. And it seems like when they compare Kansas State to other teams, they compare offense to Kelvin Cooks. Maybe because guys like that probably all we know about. How is their defense different, or how do they? What, what do they build their defense? Well, they're 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 not they're not overly complicated with what they do. It, it, it comes back to just the the technique of blocking and tackling. When you get right down to it, I mean, that, that's you know, special teams uses both of them. Offense uses blocking, and defense uses tackling. Uh, they're just they're technically really good. That's that's and they're tough and they're and they're really good. Um, you know, they don't try to get overly crazy with what they do defensively. They're going to be sound. They're going to they're going to play their their tail off, um, they're going to get off blocks and they're going to be sure tacklers. You know, their secondary is, 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 is really talented. That's why I think they're playing more kind of more uh, man coverage than what they've done in the past based on their personnel back there allows them to do it. They got, so they got some good players. Just technique more than anything. It seems, it Take schemes it, out of it, technique is where I look at it. It's pretty good. It seems the man coverage would, I mean, they have theory, it seems to be to make you go the length of the field. And after run a lot of plays, you figure that you're going to make a mistake somewhere along the line. 
That's more that it's more what they used to do. More more zone coverage, playing off quarters, back up, keep it in front, rally to the ball, be sure tacklers. I don't see them doing that right now. You know, and, and, and we went into that Tennessee game not knowing what they were going to do. Are they going to back up and keep it in front, or are they going to take some chances and blitz and play man? And they, that's what they did. That 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 can that can get that can give up big plays. Thanks, Coach. All right.